Congratulations, that was one hell of a race and ups and downs and what was going through your, your mind when you weren't sure whether you were going to get to keep that podium with you? Sure, it was, it was very confusing and uh, yeah, a roller coaster of, of feelings and emotions uh, going on but uh, yeah, at the end obviously the P3 and P4 feels good uh, for the team and uh, good points and it was not an easy race. I think um, matching the, the pace of Mercedes was not easy. Also Ferrari and, and Alpine, they were putting some pressure behind me so um, yeah, I tried to force a mistake from Luis all, all race long, tried to get close, but you know he drove fantastically well uh, as a champion he is and uh, no mistakes. I, I only remember one lock up in 10.13 in, in 58 laps, so yeah, it was not possible today to uh, to put pressure, but uh, we take P3. It continues a great run of form for you and for the team. Three different races, three great performances, is enough to make you feel like you're going to be in this fight all year? I hope so. I think it's going to be a, now a race of developing the car off track you know I think uh, now when we go back to Europe we will see the first upgrades for everyone and uh, we may uh, change a little bit uh, how competitive we feel maybe for for good or for bad so let's see all right thanks thank you, thank you to everyone back uh, back at the two factories I think I mean I I feel so so happy right now and so grateful to, to them for continuing to push and I think we've arrived with a car that's been difficult um, and it's been for us to be finishing on the podium, getting these points is really remarkable and especially at this early phase where we've not actually changed the car, it's just happened to work pretty well this weekend and um, we've got a lot of work to do clearly to catch the Red Bull because they came flying past and disappeared but I think this hopefully gives us a, a real boost of hope and energy um, that it's, it's so early on in the season yet we're there or thereabouts kind of. So um, I hope this is a message to everyone, just, just just dig deep, keep pushing, because it's not that far away and it's, it's relatively close to reach. You actually got finally got some luck as well with a red flag in the end as well, which usually goes against you. But today, when I spoke to George afterwards, he thought with the two of you up there, you could have actually put up more of a fight to Max if you'd had each other there to the, towards the end of the race today. So how close do you think you are of being able to pull off a result? Uh, I don't think we would have. Max is in another league. His car is so fast. I mean, he passed me halfway down the straight and he was several meters ahead, like 10 meters ahead. But I mean, I don't know how they're so quick on the straight. It's just, yeah, it's insane. But um, so we're not, they're, they're just in another league. And until we pick up speed on the straight like they have and have the crazy downforce that they have through corners, and uh, that's how it's going to continue. So, but I think. For the others, I think if we continue to work together, we can definitely fight the Ferraris and the Red Bulls. And uh, the battle's really with Fernando right now. So, Yeah, he said he enjoyed it today. He said you drove like a champion. Yeah, it was really, it was, I enjoyed racing with him. It was very reminiscent of our first race here, or my first race here in 2007. So.